Now, whether you're a veteran or a new player, there might just be some things in Genshin Impact that you don't know. Well, it's a good thing that you came to this video because I am here to tell you five things that you probably don't know. And hopefully, these are things that can help you. So, let's get started. Number one is for players that are tired of looking for an item when the game only tells you just the area of said item. And then you go there and still have no clue where it is. Well, I am here to tell you about a beautiful thing called the interactive map. Now, I guarantee most of you have heard about this, but for the some of you that haven't, this thing can help you find anything. Anything. All you got to do is just look on the left side, you know, go select what you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for glaze lily. So we just pop that down and boom, there are some right over here in this area. You know, there might be one that's actually right behind us, actually. So if we go ahead and come over here and look, oh my gosh. There's one right there! Hell yeah! Like I said earlier, you can find anything. Wood, plants, creatures, rocks, your missing cat. So, there's a link down below that'll take you directly over here. And I hope it helps you out greatly. Do you hate swimming? Yeah, me too. If you're a swimming hater like me, you may have had many times where you just drowned because you did not have enough stamina or miscalculated the length of your swim. Now I'm about to tell you a game changing fix that will decrease how much stamina you use while swimming. So if you just hold the sprint button or whatever button it is, in my case I'm on PC so that will either be shift or right click. Now you press that, your typical swimming will just do this. But instead of just doing that, while you hold your sprint button, I want you to just spam your forward button. In my case, it is the W button. Now, you can see it working here. You can traverse across waters way better this way. It will help you use less stamina while swimming. So I hope it helps you. Anyway, that was Swimming 101. Or you could just use Beto. For number three, this is for boss farming. After you are done waiting for that boss to respawn. Boom. Now, usually for some people, you have to teleport away for the boss to load back in. And sometimes that can get annoying because some bosses are far away from a waypoint. Instead of doing all that, all you gotta do is just go to your events tab go to test run and try out a trial. Once you're here, you can admire that very cool character you don't have. I'm joking. Just leave the domain and then you load back and boom, right back at the boss. You're going to absolutely mollywop. So yeah, this is a great farming technique and hopefully it helps you out. As for number four, it's a claymore trick. When you're doing a charge attack, it doesn't go through your stamina entirely. It stops just a little bit before your stamina drains out. Now, why don't they continue until your stamina is absolutely dried out? Your guess is as good as mine. It's a minor trick, but while you're doing this, you can just press escape real quick or go into your menu, whatever, and then keep going. It's a very neat trick to help you get out all that damage you can and absolutely slap a fool. Here's a bonus thing for Claymore users that you might not know. As far as I know, this is only for Claymore users. Don't quote me on that. There's a thing called Dragon Striking. I'll just go ahead and show you what that is real quick. It's that. Now, it's kind of a technical trick. But all you have to do is let your first attack hit an enemy just like that or anything really. I think it only works on small enemies. Also, don't quote me on that. But as soon as you do that, press your dash and jump at the same time just like that. And then you're going to want to plunge. Let's put it all together. Attack, dash, boom. 
Attack, dash, jump, plunge. Attack, dash, jump, plunge. Damn, that's a tongue twister. Now, just for an example on an enemy. On second thought, maybe this isn't a good thing. It's just a neat trick if you can figure it out better than me. For the last thing, it's kind of a minor one, but it is talent priority or talent reference. Now, it's this button up here. This didn't used to be here. If you click it, it shows you which talent has priority first, second, and last. This is very helpful if you are confused on which one you should decide to level up. Now, there's a good chance that one of these characters might be wrong than what other people um, tell you to, but most of the time it's going to be accurate and will help you a lot. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope these things helped you if you didn't know them. If you do and you still use them to this day, hell yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. And of course. How about you subscribe to Kira and come back for the next video?